What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to avoid plagiarism using Quillbot. So you just have to go to your Google web browser and type paraphrasing Quillbot and let's just say you wanted to look for a summary of the story or the necklace but actually everything is up to you. You can choose any story, any summary but this is just a tutorial. So let me pick this one a summary from this site okay let me tap this one here okay so the next step or the next thing mm. to do is to simply copy the part or the area where you want to paraphrase it using our quill bot okay so let's just say you wanted this part all you have to do is to click copy and then go to paraphrasing quill bot all you have to do now is to simply paste that part or that phrase here and then click paraphrase okay so here it is this is the result now in order to get the result or in order to know if it's a hundred percent unique and there's zero plagiarism all you have to do is to simply copy the result and then go to double checker but wait i'm going to show you if i'm going to copy this phrase from the site okay let's see the result this one is the phrase from the site or let's just say the original text so below here you can see the result if it turns red that means it's a hundred percent plagiarism or it depends on the percentage but if it's green then it's a hundred percent unique okay or i should say you did copy that to any site to any uh, websites and links or whatsoever okay so as you can see it's a hundred percent plagiarism sorry to say that so if i'm going or if you're going to use this one then it's not you a lot of people have used this or a lot of people have copied it already okay how about let's try this paraphrase from quailbot okay so copy and then go to drop the checker and then paste now let's see the result just have to wait for a couple of seconds to get the result and i just want to say that it's a hundred percent unique and zero percent plagiarism so that's it that's how you avoid plagiarism using quailbot it's 100% unique. You can use this one. Guarantee that no one has used this before. Or if someone does, it's okay. I mean, there's no error. There's no big deal with that. There's no conflict with that. So that's it. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to rephrase and rephrase and use other tools so that you are 100% sure that 0% plagiarism and it's you who can use that phrase or words so i really hope that my video helped you if it does then please like and share my video and please also subscribe to my channel in this way you can support me and it will be a big help for me also thank you so much